for the culture, this is more than just a phase Feeling like tsunami, see my walls with what a waves It's your boy Tsunami Timo Tsunami Timo What's poppin' Tsunami Gang? It's your boy Tsunami Timo and I'm back at it again Hey, I gotta tell y'all about a product that I had bought a while back And I totally forgot to review it for you guys And basically tell you not to purchase this item So, so Red by Kiss is a huge company that sells hair care products and do-rags So, whenever I'm out and about And let's say I need a new do-rag And I go to the beauty supply store um, I usually pick up a Red by Kiss do-rag just by default. So these do-rags are made by Red by Kiss and uh, you can get these at any beauty supply store. They used to have Bow Wow on the cover. Um, I don't think they do anymore. But uh, whenever I'm out and I'm near a beauty supply store, if I need a do-rag, I'll pick one of these up. I have a ton of them. I don't have any problems with the do-rags whatsoever except for that the inside does not match the outside. Um, it's not a huge issue, but let's put this to the side and get to the main issue at hand. So, I seen a post, it was almost, by now it's almost been a year since I seen this post. So, if you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you've probably seen me wear a suit rag before. They, uh, it was actually never a bad product. Now, when you purchase a suit rag, it usually comes with a tag on the inside, different sizes. They always tell you to get one size smaller or larger. I don't recall exactly what the website stated um, than what you normally wear. Now, that's all fine, right? Um, so back to Red by Kiss. I seen them make a post, basically, selling the exact same thing. So this basically was how the initial suit rag looked and so I was like when I get a chance and I go to the beauty supply I'm gonna buy both of them because they're basically making both forms of them basically they have a wave cap with just the velcro and then they have the open concept like this right now what I realized that um, with this one it's not that big of an issue but it's an issue nonetheless um, basically, they copied the entire concept from Sue Rag. I don't know if he had a copyright on his product or if it was trademarked, but they just took off with his entire concept of his Sue Rags. Um, if he's not complaining, I'm not going to complain. So basically, do not waste your money on this. The only reason I would tell you do not waste your money on any of these is because at least when Sue Ray, when he was selling them, um, there was sizes on them. As soon as you get these, it says one size fits all, which is impossible. That's like, how can that be possible? Everybody's head is a different size. So everybody knows my head is huge. So I threw it on and uh, of course it didn't fit. Like the Velcro did not even connect. So I'm thinking like how, in the world can they say that one size fits all when it obviously doesn't so they basically took the concept ran with it and for them being such a large company I think uh, this is a poor effort uh, especially since a smaller business who originated the idea made it the correct way in different sizes and then you as a large company fumbled the bag by not even making different sizes of the same exact thing. So for that, um, I'm gonna tell you do not waste your money on this. I just wanna let you guys know, um, if you ever at the beauty supply store, cause I was just talking to my boy, he was heading there to grab some stuff. Um, do not pick this up, neither one of them. Uh, and that's about it. It's your boy, Tsunami Timo, and I'm out. Sauce, 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 sauce